Welcome back outside here at 2019 CA Football Media Day live here at M&T Bank Stadium. I'm Bobby Broyles with Brandon Noble, and we're joined by the Richmond Spiders coach Russ Huseman, the CA preseason defensive player of the year, Maurice Jackson, and Daniel Jones, defensive back here for the Spiders. Gentlemen, how are we doing this morning? Good. Doing great. Doing great. Doing great. Doing great. So, coach, uh, obviously last year didn't go as you'd like. You know, a lot of injuries affected this team. But what has been the motivation this offseason to kind of get this uh, program back on track for 2019? Well, I mean, I think we have good players, and, and that's the start of it. Uh, players win championships, players win games, and we've got good players all the way across the board. We're not as deep as we'd like to be, but I think we can we can send 11 out there on defense, 11 out there on offense, and compete with anybody in this league. Um, give these guys credit. Both these guys are captains, uh, and they've done a great job of rallying our football team and understanding that Four and seven is not what the University of Richmond's all about. Mm -hmm. um, they're not going to let it happen again. I, I know these guys, and they've done a tremendous job of leading this football team. How has this this offseason gone for you guys? I mean, you, you've, you've got another one under your belt now, right? You're, you're kind of installing your offense and the defense, and the kids are a little bit more comfortable. You feel like you guys are ready to take that next step? Well, you know, spring was hard. Yeah. We, we had 14 offensive players in spring practice because of injuries and, and all that stuff. So it was really hard wow. to function. You know, some uh, Mo and Daniel, we tried to take snaps away from them. Uh, but this summer has been fantastic for these guys. They've worked really hard. Uh, they're there. They, uh, they've made a commitment to be great. We're healthy right now sure. all the way across the board. Uh, so we, you know, we feel better. You know, we feel really good about going into this season uh, with the leadership that we have. Uh, and, and so, you know, spring was hard, but, uh, you know, the summer they've done a great job. Good. Maurice, you led not just the team, but the league tackles for losses, forced fumbles, sacks. I mean, you were an absolute force last year, much deserving of the CA preseason defensive player of the year going into the season. Uh, first of all, what makes you such a great pass rusher? Um, I would say just a lot of film work. Uh, you know, I think one of the biggest parts of the game really is film work and uh, especially being a guy that didn't play defensive line until really coming to college. It took a while for me to really get a little neck for the position. You know, I was watching a lot of NFL guys, uh, watching a lot of college guys at the same time too, talking to my coaches about things I could do. Just really a lot of nonstop effort to really try and get the thing down to where I could be at this level of play so soon and really try and just be the best I could. It sounds like you're a real film junkie. The way you're talking about film, you get excited. Uh, Brain, were you a film junk? Were you a film guy? The older I got, yes. Okay. <laughs> the, I got slower as I got older. What makes you like love enjoying watching film so much? Of not just you know opponents, but players that you're trying to emulate, even NFL players and and such. Um, I just think it's the easiest way to really go about things. You know, if you want to learn about something that, or learn about a guy or learn about a move that you really want to do. You just watch film. You know, coaches always say that eye in the sky don't lie. So mm. the more you watch film, the more you see things close up, see things in slow motion, really see how things work mechanically. You know, it's just easy to dissect things off of film. And that's just what I like to do, honestly, is just watch and see how things work and then keep going over in my head and see if I could do it myself or how I could put my own spin on it or just certain things like that. In my defense, film was different when I was yeah. playing football. Uh -oh. It wasn't That's It wasn't fair. on my phone. There was no huddle, <laughs> right? It was a big VHS tape or beta, and Coach, you probably cut them up for real, right? Yeah, it's yeah. very easy to access. Exactly. Yeah, that's exactly right. Yeah, that's so, Dan, Daniel, talk a little bit about what this summer's been like. A lot of people, they see Saturdays. Mm -hmm. They don't understand, really, the kind of work that you guys put in. And talk a little bit about what you guys have been doing this summer so that this fall goes well. Well, we've had a lot. We've had the whole team basically up there all summer. We, um, me and Reese and some other guys have been up there since May, just working out every day, doing conditioning with Coach Brinks, running, lifting, and it's just been, it's been a great process of just getting to be around the team instead of being at home, lifting by yourself and running by yourself, just gaining that, that love and that connection with your teammates. Taking any classes? Um, I'm actually doing an internship. Oh, nice. Where? Um, on campus. Okay. With the um, marketing department. Very cool. See, student athletes, that's there what it's go. about. I mean, the, the, yes, the opportunity to go to school, get the degree, play a great level of football. Talk a little bit about that level. I mean, the offenses in the CAA, it makes for a long season. What's that yes, like to, to go out there every well, week? Well, Reese really hit it on the head with film. You got to watch a lot of film just to be even capable of competing in the CAA and just practicing hard and just knowing you got to know your responsibilities and what you got to do week in and week out and knowing your teammates. 
Speaking of offense, Coach, let's talk about that side of the ball a little bit. It struggled a bit last year, especially with injuries and turnovers. Uh, what were some of the offseason adjustments made that you are making on the offensive end that we can expect going into 2019? Well, we probably could have survived the injuries. The turnovers, you can't survive. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's you know, somehow, some way. We, we probably had enough good players, but when you turn the ball over as much as we did, you can't survive it. And, I mean, you almost got to be, uh, and I don't want to say you have to be perfect to win games in this league, but, I mean, you got to be close to perfect. You can't give those guys extra snaps or, or turn the ball over extra possessions or it'll be a, it'll be a long game and a long season. But, you know, I think getting people healthy, uh, you know, it's been a big priority for us. Uh, like Daniel said, I mean, these guys have been here a lot this summer and they've worked really, really hard. I, I can see a team that has great chemistry, that loves each other, uh, that, that is rooting for each other to do well and, uh, and bringing people along. Uh, you know, I just, I don't know if, if we had that, that as much last year. I don't think we had some the true leadership that you need and, and how to lead. And, and I think these guys have kind of taken amongst themselves that I'm going to be a leader. I'm going to bring this team, get on my back. You know, I'm going to take this team with me. And, and that's why these two are here. They're, 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 they're not only great football players, but they're tremendous people. They're unbelievable representatives of the University of Richmond. Moe's doing an internship. Daniel's doing an internship. They're, they're both going to graduate, you know, in, in four years. And, and uh, so love those guys. I mean, these two guys are as good as there is. Mm -hmm. Daniel, there's a tough question for you. All right, ready? ready? All right. Ready. <laughs> Favorite training camp meal? Ooh. Like when you come off the field and you're exhausted. All right. What? Well, we get hibachi. Oh. We get hibachi. Wow. That's good. Spoiled. Steak and chicken. Yeah. Okay. Get some yum yum sauce on it. <laughs> you can't beat the hibachi yum -yum. right there, man. You can't beat the hibachi. That's your go-to? Yes, sir. All right. You too? That's the one. That's a good one. I like a little snack of watermelon. I love a, little, love a good watermelon. Yeah, we get watermelon right walk up cold? Sometimes too. Oh, yes. Gotta be cold. Nice right? and juicy. Right out good of the fridge. Mm -hmm. come Sometimes out. we even get ice cream when we come out the field. Ice cream. Ice cream. Yeah. Well, Treat yeah, them right. Treat the them practice. right. Yeah. 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 Well, I think they're talking about, most of this, they're talking about the cafeteria, yeah. which is tremendous. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when an ice cream truck comes once to, yeah, to once. surprise them, yeah. What about you, Coach? What's your go to meal in camp? Uh, you know, sometimes I don't make it over. A lot of times I do make it over, but. You know, I got to watch myself uh, because <laughs> you can gain about 25 I know, pounds. I've done you it. I've you, done you'd it. be surprised. <laughs> you know, they say, well, you're always working, you're on the field, whatever it is, but you can be, because you eat three meals a day oh, now. Yeah. And before you know it, you, you know, you've gained 15 or 20 pounds. So I got to be careful this year uh, to watch what I eat. So I'm going to try to do a lot of salads so, and, and uh, baked chicken, I stuff see a like theme. that. Mm -hmm. Coach Priori from Stony Brook yeah. said the same thing. We've seen well, look at him <laughs> yeah. now for crying out loud. He doesn't have to diet. Look at me. I mean, that's not even close. <laughs> and I love how the players are trying to, you know, they're yeah. putting fruit in yeah. too right. just they to are. kind of save yeah. themselves. They yeah. came, exactly. They've come out and said burgers and yeah. all this other yeah. stuff, and then yeah. they say fruit. That's yeah. because I'm not doing those salads. There so you go. <laughs> I, I got to get the fruit in there. Fair enough. Fair enough. So, well, Maurice and Daniel, you know, Tim Hightower here, obviously, he's coming up next on this set. Got to speak earlier. When you see somebody who had success like him, not just at Richmond, but at the next level, as two seniors that might be looking to play at the next level, what does it mean to see him and get to learn from him a little bit? Um, you know, it's really an honor. You know, not everybody can say they've had a guy like Tim Hightower be able to coach them and uh, be able to relate to them in such a way where you really feel everything that he's saying on a personal level. So um, it's really a blessing, honestly, to just have a guy like Tim come through here be able to mentor us in the way that he has. It is honor, it's a blessing. And we see him around the facility all the time. He works out there, he comes and speaks to us during practice and he gives motivation all the time. And it's just good to see an active example of something that you would strive to be. It's awesome, that's good. You're lucky, yeah, fortunate, very, right? That's yeah, why you go lucky. to a school like Richmond, right? Mm -hmm. With those guys. So what do you think? How many sacks are you gonna get this year? Uh, the goal is always 20. Yeah, you gotta if you gotta shoot high to get to where you want to be. There so you go. It's, a, it's a million bucks a sack in the league, man. Listen, getting paid, I like it. That's what I'm trying to get to. So yeah, absolutely. I think I got three one time. I was pretty happy about that. <laughs> <laughs> what's your what's your go to pass rush move? Uh, I'm a big chop swat guy. Chop Don't swat. tell anybody. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. Well, I got more moves than that, so you know. I can, I can always tell them one move. I can always tell them one. I got more moves than that. Oh, big right. bag of tricks. <laughs> there. All right, well, gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us on set. Enjoy the rest of the day here at Media Day, and good luck here in 2019. Stay healthy, and 
Have a great season. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. We're going to take a break.